Welcome back to another episode. I am here with Doc, and he is going to teach me all about the history of grain harvest. So, if you really start kind of with uh, grain harvest and stuff, first you go back all the way to like biblical times, they had the thrashing floors and stuff, right? Uh huh. This here is your step up from that. It's basically, in, to put it in the most basic terms, it's a stationary combine. Oh, okay. So instead of you driving it through the field and it cuts it and puts it and then brings it in and stuff, you hook it to a, a nice piece of equipment like that case, uh, steam engine, and then as as it goes through, these, the guys up there will put bun the, the uh, bundles in, and and then it, like a combine, it, it'll it'll break the, the grain away from the, the uh, stalks and, okay. and separate it, and then it'll go, the straw goes out the back, and then the grain goes in that uh, in, their, in a well, they would use a, a horse-drawn wagon or something like that. Mm -hmm. Just put the grain in, and then kind of from there, it started uh, changing. And like, we'll go here in a second, and I'll show you the. We'll go over here to by the cleaner building, and I'll, we'll talk about where it, where is it today. started. Went from from this to the uh, self-propelled combo. Okay, so it's just chewing everything up right now and separating it out, yeah, spitting out what it doesn't need. There's a, a drum and it has little uh, like feeders on it and it's smashing the, the grain out of the, out of the head. Okay. There's a, we call it a screen, which lets the grain fall, and, but it's too, the grain's small enough to fall through, but it's uh, big enough, or Big enough to let the grain through, and then small enough not to let the, the wheat and the stalks and stuff through. I gotcha. So, well, Angie, this is where, kind of where Gleaner started. It's right, it's right here. They built this unit here, and it would be your first, one of your very first uh, self-propelled combines. Okay. So, it took what we did, looked at earlier, and instead of Cutting it, uh, cutting it out there in the field, putting it on wagons, carrying it to the farm, running it through the thrashing machine, doing all that work in one spot there in the field. Okay. And then, of course, I don't know how it works, just it cuts it, uh, and then the auger pulls it over here, and then there's a conveyor kind of thing that goes up into, into the, the Thrashing, the thrashing bot, basically mobile thrashing machine, and then it, like we, we talked about the thrashing machine, it uh, separated the grain, and then it dropped it out the back. It just dumps it out the back in the field? So it dumps out the, like, like the uh, thrashing machine. What it, it doesn't need. What the, 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 uh, the, the, the chaff and, and straw and stuff would the go hay. that okay. way. And then it goes, I think, of course, on this side, I think we need to go around the other side, but it kind of drops the grain, it augered it across, and the day, it's kind of, yeah, so it's... it's so this of, is the, like, step two, or phase this, two of where it started. Step up to, yeah. Okay. And then we kind of went from this thing to this one here, is the... That Model A, is this I one? That's an, I think that's an E. Is that an E? Okay. But, okay. And then, so then it's like, I said this is a step up from, from that. It, it's, or instead of having to put it around your, your tractor like, like that one, build around a, a, a what model is that a little Ford tractor like that one? So then it, it's all one whole um, building. It's all the, the fashion 
The thrashing unit is basically got a motor put on it. Oh, what, okay. Where the combine really kind of is. And the, the thing with, that I find kind of interesting with the Gleaner combine is you come here, you see the that little thing with the little forks on it? Uh-huh. That pulls the crop in, and with the Gleaner, it, fall, it travels from that and through the combine in one straight line on a, on, a, on a Gleaner combine. So it goes in, it goes through the, the separator, and then the, 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 what the, in the combine, what do we call mog, which is a material other than grain. Oh, okay. Goes out the back, and then the grain gets augered up and put in the, in the bin on this thing. Okay. And with pretty much with Gleaner, nothing's really changed from this point on through the years. It's just they changed technology a little bit, made things a little bit better and better uh, bearings and, uh-huh. and other things like that. But this thing here and that combine behind, behind Dave with S98 are basically built the same. It just has more uh, more belts and stuff because it's a bigger machine, so it has more, uh, more thrashing capacity and, and stuff. But it still travels from the front of the combine through in one and the, the uh, grain, where the grain goes through, the, the separator is is a lot shorter than some of the other brands is. So it actually can pr- process grain faster. Okay. And uh, more efficiently. It's, at least that's what I was taught in school. So. But yeah, that's... So we go the, from this really to a fancy smancy air conditioning unit. Yeah. Okay. Can I give you a fun fact about the air conditioning on that? On that, a small uh, the the S the S ninety eight. Uh-huh. The air conditioning system on that, if you could power it by something, could cool a, a, a mid sized house. Oh wow! By itself, because it's just, I mean, you're just trying to keep a box of glass cold. So. Massive. That so takes a, a huge huge air conditioning system. That's cool. I think well, I'm getting thrashed on. We're getting thrashed on. Do we need to... So... Hope everybody took their allergy pills today. <laughs> There's one around. Yeah. I'm going to wrap it down. So... Okay. Yeah, but kind of an interesting thing that kind of connects me to, to Gleaner is I went to, the, as some of you guys know, I went back to school through the Hutch um, program for agricultural mechanics. And mine and my instructors, his grandfather worked with the, helped the Baldwin brothers, which is the founders of Gleaner, build the first Gleaner combine. So that was... Look at, they're wow. celebrating 100 years of cleaners. So. Well, guys, I think I think I taught Angie enough today about cleaners. So I guess we'll see them next time. Yeah, we'll see, see you next time. time Thanks for joining.